The family of a man who died outside the Hyatt Regency Hotel in Milwaukee is frustrated by what they call a lack of action from the Milwaukee County DA's office. 43 year old Devonte Mitchell died on June 30th. Video shows four Hyatt employees pinning him to the ground outside the hotel. Milwaukee police say leading up to the incident, Mitchell caused a disturbance. They say by the time their officers arrived at the hotel, Mitchell had died. Our Jenna Ray has been following this story since the very beginning, of course, and she's outside the safety building in downtown Milwaukee now where Mitchell's family and other supporters continue to push for criminal charges. Jenna, is there a particular reason why they've chosen this location? Andre and Susan, they've chosen this location because District Attorney John Chisholm's office is right above me. You can see a few dozen protesters, family, friends, and supporters of Devontae Mitchell here now. They're asking for criminal charges to be filed against the four men seen in that video. They're also asking for the Hyatt Regency to release their surveillance video inside the hotel at the time of the incident. Now, two weeks ago, family, friends, and supporters of Devontae Mitchell stood outside this very building yet again calling for charges to be filed against the men who were seen on top of Mitchell in that video. Earlier that day, family and their attorneys say they saw a new perspective that led up to Mitchell's death from Hyatt security footage given to the DA's office. Le that same week, they laid Mitchell to rest. The following week after the funeral, I sat down with the family. Still no arrests, still no convictions, you know. So it's been very irritating for me, you know, uh, a little anxious for myself, you know. It's been kind of hard to sleep, you know, even hard to eat because it's like, I it feel like we shouldn't be doing nothing else but trying to get justice for my brother. You can hear those calls for justice right now outside the DA's office. For several weeks now, the DA has continued to tell us that they're waiting on autopsy results from the medical examiner's office to come back before making a charging decision. I talked with someone there today and they tell me that there is no update and that they're still reviewing the case. I also reached out to the medical examiner to ask what the holdup is, why the full autopsy has not been released and when they plan for it to be released. I have haven't heard back. I'll have more on this for you coming up in an hour on TMJ4 News at 5. For now, we're live outside the Milwaukee County Safety Building. I'm Jenna Ray for TMJ4 News.